Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 with brackets text editor video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. In our last video we added a little section with an auto playing video that was muted. In this video we're going to add a little section underneath and we're going to have a little scrolling announcement going on. So let's get started. Here's our folder with our website files in it that we created. We'll be working on our index.html file and probably the custom CSS file that we created here. So let's go ahead and open our index.html file with our brackets text editor. For anybody that doesn't have brackets, it's free. Uh, you can download it from a link below this video. Okay, let's go down to where we left off. which was right here. There's our little video section. Let's add a new one. And I'll give it the ID of higher. So I'm going to have a little announcement saying now hiring and call this number. And this is pretty cool little feature People don't talk about this. We're going to be using the marquee tag. People, you, I don't know, don't see it mentioned too often. But it is, uh, it's pretty eye catching. So let's do a BS4 container. And we're using our shortcode plugins here again in the extension manager and if you don't have them they're free to download also just put in bootstrap and a whole load of uh, short codes will come up it just makes coding so much quicker there's nothing wrong with writing everything out that's how you learn stuff but if you can save time why not and then to find out what the short codes are just hit the more info button and it'll take you to their github page with a list of short codes you can put in so let's just close that um, and I put that short code in there and that's actually incorrect that should say fluid I believe to make it full width let's just tidy this up and again, I'll use a shoot short code. And that's for a full width Jumbotron. And all I want is the H1 tags. I'm going to get rid of everything else. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wrap this H1 in some marquee tags. Well, let's do it the other way around. Put that in between there. So we've now got our announcement here in between our marquee tags. Our H1 tags are now within the marquee tags. Now what I wanted to say, say now, all right, uh, join our awesome team. something like that okay. 
Okay, and that's pretty much it for the simple version. So I'm going to save that and let's take a look. Let's go back to our site and do a refresh. And there we have it. How easy was that? And this marquee, what it's doing is enabling this text to scroll. Yeah, that's pretty effective. And if you want it to um, link to something, you can wrap it in an A tag. Or of course, we can give it an ID, or we can give it the container some CSS to change the style. So let's do that. Let's give this container. Well, before that, I'll just this marquee. So you can see it's scrolling from left to right, or I should say it's scrolling from right to left. Uh, you can change direction of it by just giving it an attribute of direction. Let's say uh, right. So it will go, be going towards the right now. So let's save that control S back to our site. It's going to the left now. Let's refresh and it should be going the other way. There we go. And you can have it going up or down also a bit like a sort of TV credit, but that will increase the size of our div there because it's going to want to fit all that text on screen. So let's just do that as well just to demonstrate. It's more like a sort of TV credit going on there. Of course, you can give it the direction of down. I'm sure you get the idea. I mean, that's real eye catching there. If you just want to add a little eye catching moving section to your site with uh, there's no CSS involved and there's no JavaScript involved, so it's very easy. Let's just put it back to how it was. You can either just get rid of that or you can put left in the box there. There you go. And I've noticed with the jumbotrons, they add a little bit of padding on the bottom there. Let's just inspect that. Might want to get rid of that. It may be a margin. Let's have a look. Yeah, see? See the yellow section at the bottom there? Yeah, margin bottom to rem. So let's go to our CSS and just take that away from our jumbotrons. All right. I've already got mine open in the brackets here. And let's create a new little section here. And let's call it hiring forward slash star star forward slash. And let's take that uh, Jumbotron code there. Where was it? Here we go. May have to use the important class here. Let's, let's see. Let's just 
make sure. Let's take that off. Yeah, that's got rid of it right there. So take that from the two rem to the dot of the jumbotron. Back to our CSS. Just paste it in there. Uh, let's get rid of that. I'm not going to change that one. Let's set the margin at the bottom to zero. And save that and see what happens. So there's that space we want to get rid of. Let's refresh. That's better. That's got rid of it. Good. Let's add a bit of custom CSS. Let's give this a class of HIR for hiring. So let's target HIR H1. Now I don't know if this will work or not. Let's make let's change that to light. Let's give it a kind of neon background glow using this color, the blue color that we've been using. May or may not work. So let's save that. Control S. Go to our custom CSS. So we called that div HIR, so dot, because it's a class. And we want to target the H1. Pretty sure it was H1, wasn't it? Yep, HIR. And H1. Okay. Back to our custom CSS. Open and close some curly brackets. Okay, let's give it the color of white, which is FFF. And we'll give it some text shadow. Uh, let's do zero, mm, five. Might want to do zero, 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 but not quite sure. Five picks, and let's say 25 picks. Copy it again. Paste that color in there. Semicolon. And let's save that and take a look. See if that's may not work. Yeah, that text is too light. Let's just take that color attribute away. Save that. It's got that little blue glow to it. Let's try this then. more traditional sort of shadow. Let's make it stand out just a little bit more. Let's see. There you go, that's a more traditional sort of shadow, makes that uh, text looks like it's 
hovering above the uh, background there. And of course you can change this background color, make that text whatever color you want. So there you have it. There's how to make a scrolling marquee section. It's really easy to do and it's very effective and eye-catching for your site. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in web development, take one of our web development courses below. We've got some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. And we've also got some great free courses down there, so take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.